Quick intro, um, adding a workshop to an existing pole barn that's about 50 by 30. I'm uh, gonna put a 20 by 15 workshop in right here. And these doors are already all done. Uh, the only thing I'm really doing, well, there's a lot I'm doing, but um, putting in two walls, adding a door here. And then uh, beyond that, I uh, have to insulate the whole place because I have in-floor um, tubing, but haven't put a boiler in yet. Um, I have to do electrical, a lot of work. So this first part of the series will be focused on framing. All right, this is the pole barn as it, as it looks today. Uh, it's pretty much just a big open space and I don't have a ceiling on there, but uh, this software renders a ceiling. And back in this corner is where that workshop will go. We're out on the front porch looking into the workshop right now. Let's add some walls. Now let's show you where the electrical will go. All right, so we've got lots of lighting. Um, some 240 outlets as well as lots of 120 outlets and even ethernet um, connections i've got a uh, ethernet uh, piped in um, cat5 right from the house and uh, i'll have a wireless router out here so i'm using the old base cabinets and wall cabinets from the house uh, from when we remodeled it and uh, these will just be kind of the bases of some workbenches and we've got some wall cabinets going on. Um, so I have some along this wall and then some of these smaller ones. I think this one of these was over the refrigerator and another one was over the stove, but these little tiny ones, I'll just put them over the doors and, and use them for storage. Now let's put some tools in there. All right, so the nice thing about this is most of these tools are on wheels with the exception of this, uh, this drill press here. But these two workbenches are on wheels, um, this radial arm saw as well as the table saw are on wheels, and I've got a band saw right over here. That's also on wheels, so that stuff can all be moved around. Um, and I think I'll have a dust collector sitting right about here, and then the electric boiler will go right back there. So let's, uh, oh, and of course you got to have a TV. Um, so let's get started and do some framing. Just got back from Menards with a load of two by sixes. Been waiting for this for a long time, so I'll just uh, put those in the pole barn and get to them soon. Over the winter, the mice found their way into the pole barn by chewing through the styrofoam. So we've got a layer of styrofoam underneath the slab, and then it comes up the side here uh, to meet up with the walls. And uh, what they've done is tunneled, and you can see down here, and just dug their way in. 
So before I can do any finishing on the inside, I need to deal with this. The way I intend to fix that is to bring a piece of metal flashing in here and screw that in place before I go ahead and put up my walls and or do my insulation, and that should take care of it. Okay, so here's how I do this. We'll start a piece of flashing, and I'll just use some sheetrock screws about every foot. All right, so there's our barrier. And then this two by six, I need to put in anyway for a nailer for my wall for the bottom. And that will hold the bottom of that sheet of metal down. Right there we have it. Got our nailer in and we're lined with metal. That'll keep them from coming up through that styrofoam. So I'm ready to raise that first section of wall. I decided that I should just go ahead and do it myself. So I grabbed a rope pulley and just started hoisting it up. I generally don't ask for help unless I absolutely get stumped on something and, and this time was no exception. Point where it was there, I hadn't really planned out far enough in advance to figure out what to do when I got it to that level. So I ended up tying it off with the garage door.
Now this is a shorter wall, so I didn't really need a hoist. I was able to just lift it up and push it into place. Fortunately, it didn't slide out on the bottom. I was able to just wedge it up against that uh, truss that runs across. So I just kind of jammed it in there. Wanted to make sure it would hold. And then I backed away and just hoped it wouldn't fall on me. Stay. I'm going to stop here for today. We've got some company coming this afternoon. But uh, this is the back wall. Had to do it in two pieces, but it wasn't too bad. Here's my plan I'm working off of. So next, I'll frame up this wall and I've got a doorway in there. Now this wall was a lot heavier. It's about just short of 15 feet and it's got a lot of structure in it for that, that uh, door entry. So I'm back at it with the hoist again. And this one took a couple of tries. It was pretty tight between the two walls and it had a little bit of interference. So I had to cut a little off of uh, that little piece sticking out on the far right side you see there. And uh, so I just keep cranking at it and try to get it up there and uh, kind of gave up at this point and decided I better uh, kind of regroup and, and try again. You can see it's dammed over there on the right right now. So I got a sawhorse and started over and I was able to work it up again. It worked pretty good but you also see at the very bottom I, I jammed a piece of wood in there to keep it from sliding out. So here we go again. You'd think I'd learn from my mistakes, but I'm standing there now with the rope and no way to hold that thing up while I secure it. So did the same thing. Walked through there and uh, decided just to tie that rope off on the trailer. And that was it. I was able to get it done that way. All right, this is the end of part one. Took two days, really part days. Got the walls framed up. And I even got the access door in. So the next thing I think I'll be doing is putting in a few more cross braces up here in the ceiling that run across. Right now I've just got the trusses that are about seven feet apart. So I think I want to split that in two, put one more across there. Then I'll have something to uh, attach some metal ceiling and then start getting ready for wiring. So I'll probably start putting some of the electrical boxes up and uh, after that get some help with wiring. <laughs>